I've got two card projects to share with you today that are very sweet. It's a pun. Puns are fun. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I'm sharing a suite of new products from Waffle Flower Crafts that are very slash berry sweet. They feature strawberries and the stencil set that I'm using today allows you to do multiple berry rows at the same time. So the cards turned out great. They took a little longer than I thought. I made a few mistakes, par for the course. To see my card projects, stick around. They're coming up next. Here's a look at the suite of products I'm going to be creating with today from Waffle Flower Crafts. Now, we have this multiple strawberries die and stencil, and I'm very excited to try this because doing multiples at once seems to be a good idea. I've got these sweet plate dies that are really cute, and I'll show you how these go together. Some sweet greet greetings, and I've got this sweet plaid texture cover plate. I also have this little pad of paper, and these papers are really sweet. So I'm going to try to create a couple of cards today just to introduce you to these products and how they work. So let's get started with making some strawberries. So I've got my grip mat, and right now this grip mat is discontinued in this form, but on the Waffle Flower website, there are other sizes available, and they are gonna find a new source for this one. It says in Q2, which we're, I guess we're close to moving into quarter two of the year. So I'm gonna set the die aside, and I've just pulled one piece of cardstock. This is Nina Classic Crest Solar White, right, in the 110, and I'm just gonna pop it down like that, and I'm going to just line this up right here. And this part will stick down nicely and this part should, you know what, actually I could go up a little further then I don't have to worry about it as much. Hold on here. Cause I'm just gonna start and do a couple. Well, no, you're right. I was right. Let's just go there. Okay, stick in, stick in. And now I can mask, I don't know where my little, hold on. I don't know where I put all of my little friends like that. I just, uh, and I had this really cool T-square thing and I have misplaced that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take this right here and mask off so that we are isolating that and ready to go. Let's see, I have my pink brush here and I'm gonna pop open watermelon. Now what I hope to do here, I'm gonna load my brush and I'm actually gonna pop it in here, kind of not only just to tap off, but to distribute in the bristles a bit. Let's get it kind of in there. And we are going to come in with a light hand here and just blend this color onto my strawberries. Okay, work my way across like that. Pick up some more here, tap, and blend. Hopefully, I'm gonna hold this down just for a second so that I don't go underneath the greens. Coming on in, like that. That is layer one, and now I wanna come in with a darker color for some shadow and shade. So I'm going to put this pad up here. Cherry, I think I will be using the same brush, all right? So we're gonna load this color up and tap this in. And now I'm just gonna come up from the bottom here. So this has a little depth. And you know what? I need my other brush. Let me grab that. I love these Shader Plus brushes, the new ones. They have really nice bristles and they're going to allow me, let's tap this in here, to get a nice close area here. I'm just going to come out a little like this first and then just kind of blend over here because I want to have that little shadowy area to create a little dimension on my strawberries. See how nice that is? And I'll blend that out a bit too. It's coming in, it's coming in pretty hot right now, but I can go over with that. Is that pretty? 
just going to give me a totally depth filled look for my berries. Oh, I like that. Okay, picking you up here and again coming in. And it doesn't really matter that some of these berries might be tilted in a different way. I just like the idea that we are adding that little dimension. Okay. Like that. All right, I like it. Blend over a little more. And now I'm just gonna give this a minute to dry back. I'm going to clean my stencil before I move it up for the next colors. Peel this off though so you can see my little row of berries. Isn't that a pretty color? All right, I'm going to clean this off with some rubbing alcohol. Just wanted to show you I keep some alcohol in this little spray bottle. I spray on the stencil and then just clean it with one of these completely fiber-free e-cloths and you just kind of go over it and it cleans and dries at the same time so now I can move on to the next color. But again, I'm just going to let that dry before I bring in the greens and the detail of the seeds. Now I can take this next part of the stencil and oh, it's very sticky up here. And all I have to do is just line up the berries, right? And now press that down. And if I wanted to, I could protect my cardstock like this. I've got a little bit of this perfection and I will blend that on first for my greenery and I don't well you know what maybe actually if I'm I feel like I should have put it up higher because what if I go a little wild and get it where I don't want it on the lower berries so we'll, we'll move it in a minute it might not but there's just you know I like to use a larger brush if I can so I'm gonna load up the perfection tap a little off and into the bristles, and we'll just blend this on. That, that, that. Get that in here. And then I think I'm gonna take a little bit with a smaller brush and load that up and just do a little at the bases here. Just, just for a little bit in center, full center, bases and bases. And then just go over that with the regular brush and it will kind of blend out. Just to give it a little, you know, a little something, something. Dump. All right. And then we're coming into, that can stay there. We'll do the dark here. I'm gonna use charcoal. And here, because I'm just gonna be shifting one up and one down, I'm just using the, uh, which one is this? The shader one plus, this is the angled side. Okay, and we'll go ahead here. We'll add our little seeds. And now we will just make a switch and do the greenery here. Get those nicely lined up. And then just take it a little darker here and repeat. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how cute those are. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Now this is where I will definitely need to use that last little bit of masking because I want to protect 
my strawberries here. So we'll come back with the charcoal and we'll add these in. And that is how you create a few rows of really cute strawberries and then we're going to cut them all out together. Kind of going in both directions just to make sure we're getting a nice bit of coverage on the seeds. We will have our finished sets of berries. Aren't those so cute? Okay, I'm gonna clean this up again with the alcohol, then I'll get the dye on here and we'll cut these out. All right, now I can take my dye. I can pop it right on here, and I don't think this is gonna be hard to get lined up because you just kinda, kinda look through it, kinda get it in there, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that my magnet's gonna hold that in place. Put my plate on top, and I will run this through my machine. Alrighty, let's take a look. And, oh, that is, look at that. Look at how cute those berries are. So I'll go ahead, get this lined up, and cut the rest out. And then I'm going to introduce some of the plates. So for the first card that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these pieces to cut out the bowl. And here we have the front of the bowl. So I'll go ahead, well, I guess I could just put the liquid glue on here, but I don't wanna put it on that slot because that is where berries can tuck in. So cute. Okay, and I wanna make sure also that this has liquid on the outsides of those little points just to hold it nicely so we can have a front to our bowl. Let's get you here. And we'll just say right, right there. We're gonna pop you down and the liquid glue is gonna help us get it nicely lined up into place like that. I'm just gonna hold that throw a little brick on there. Might need to come down just a titch. There we go. There we go. All right. And then this can go right onto the base. This is uh, Gina K Designs liquid glue, the connect glue. Just work our way around. Not too thick and heavy so it doesn't ooze out those little tiny perforations, but this should be just fine. Hold that together, give that liquid glue a second. I always just put things under this heavy brick and press. So now these are nicely glued. And this, of course, is going to sit in here because that's the base of the bowl. But how cute would this be? I was looking through some of these papers. Now, I don't think that the red is right because what I chose is a little too pinky but look at how cute the green would be. So what if I said, let's take this out. This is nice, sturdy paper too. It's got kind of a coating to it, but I think what I will do is I'm going to trim this down with one of my A2 layers dies. So let me grab one of those. Let's see here. I think, I wanna make sure, yep, that's probably a nice size. This one as my, yep, yeah. this is the three and a half by four and three quarters. So let me go ahead and run this through to cut out a panel. Let me get a piece of cardstock for our note card. I'm just going to put this on some Nina Solar White Classic Crest here. Score this at five and a half. Like that, okay. And fold that down. And then I'll give this a nice press with my Teflon bone folder. And let's tape this closed while I am adhering my elements. All right. See, I think this is going to be so cute with that little, it's just so homey. Now, I don't know what I'm doing for the greeting yet. So I have these stamps 
But I also have, I want to show you this, I also have sentiment street or <laughs> sentiment streets. I have sentiment strips. I could do these as well if I wanted to, and that would make for a very simple card. Or I could definitely stamp and emboss. Part of me wants to stamp and emboss just because I love to stamp and emboss. So let me set this aside. And well, maybe, you know what, I should actually stamp and emboss so that when it comes time to place everything, I know what I'm doing. So I'll get some cardstock, we'll stamp and emboss. For my greeting, I picked up three different sentiments off this cardstock and I have some Simon Says Stamp black cardstock. I'm gonna powder this up really nicely with my anti-static powder. Just to remove static and oil. And then I will grab my Versamark pad and we will ink these up and transfer. I don't want to press too hard because I don't want to squish, but I think I'll hit them twice. And that way, just a nice little drop should be enough. That looks pretty good. I like that you can actually see the impression on dark cardstock. Let me grab my powder. I've got some Brutus Monroe Alabaster. And we'll just sprinkle that on and see which ones are going to look the best. I think that will all be nice, but that way I have a couple options and then if I, I can use one for the second card too. All right. Looks pretty good. I'll funnel this back in. I will take my little brush here and just wipe away any powder that sticks maybe where I don't want it. Looks pretty good actually, but there's always, there's always a little. Okay, now I have three greetings and I will use a sentiment label die and I will trim these out and pick which one I like the best. All right, I used one of my Simon Says Stamp sentiment label dies. Pick that up with the magnet. It's a nail polish magnet. I know, I find the best uses for things. Um, and then what I think I will do is I am going to put a flag banner notch on one side. I like to use the bigger one and we're just gonna kind of set it to where I think it will look good. And I'm going to run this through to cut that little notch. Okay. Now I have a cute little notch. My notches are never perfectly straight, but I think that is fine. I'm gonna pick you up and let's get this over here. And I'll trim this down just so that it has a nice little, little sharp, clean edge right there. And that is going to be the greeting for my card. First things first, I'm gonna put a little glue right along here so that I can pop this. Oh, I guess I didn't need it all the way out there. Hold on, let me wipe some of that away. Okay, now I'm gonna pop this right here in the center of the saucer. And actually, while I'm doing that, I'll just pop you here, get that right on there, and I'm going to glue this directly to the note card. Let's take this. I mean, either side would be cute, but I, I like the green. So I'm just using some Gina K tape runner. That. Directly onto the base. And now what I would like to do is I want to put some thin foam squares or something comparable to the depth of this uh, 
cardstock. And I don't know, let's see how this looks first before I get too carried away. Oh, that's actually going to be really cute. Because what we have to do is we have to place our berries. And I don't know how many berries I'm going to do, but let's just kind of, let's kind of get a, a feel for it. You got, here's the beautiful thing, these, right? They're going to go down below. Did I do it wrong? I don't think I did. Or maybe I did. Did I? No, no, no. You go back. I think I did it wrong. Huh. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back. I think, I think you did it wrong. Take two. Five minutes later. So you can't, you can't glue them together first or you're not going to get your berries in. That <laughs> just took me a minute to figure that out. Because see, now the berries will go in, and all I have to do is figure out how many little berries I want to have. I think it'd be cute to have, you know, maybe a couple spilling out from like that. Me, I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. I, I want, I want, th I want three berries actually. I mean, I could do that, but I like the shading on these ones better. So let's go. You guys are there. Uh, now I don't know. Now I don't know. Oh gosh, they're just so cute. Um, let's see. Once I figure out exactly where I want them, then all I have to do is glue them in. But see, if I do that, then you won't see the, the cute shading. So this is fruit arranging. You know, is it is it my strong suit? I don't know. But I do want the berries to be able to dip down in the bowl like that, okay? And then they would sit here. Then we'll figure out the placement. That's cute. Uh, let's say you're gonna go in first. And I'm just gonna put a little tape on the back of this berry. Okay. That way he can go in right there. Okay, tip out a little. Tape on him. Sometimes the tape is really nice for placing uh, berries. Why well, not just berries, but things in general, right? And see that guy can be a little bit there. We'll tape. And we'll just slide you right there. Tip, tip you in like that. So now that can go on here. And actually what I'm going to do, I did do Oh, I see. All right, and then I could actually cut this a little if I needed to, right there, so that I have room to mount that there. Okay, now it's all coming together. <laughs> it's all making sense, I think, because that, well, although, hmm, you're putting way too much thought into this. You just need to get some glue down, and then we're gonna, we're gonna let that sit. Okay, go like that, little glue here. We're gonna line you up right on the plate, like that, okay? And then I'm just gonna make sure that's centered and press and hold. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna put a piece of tape right there, hold that together nicely, and now I can take this and this, which is another piece of the other, and I can just tape that right down to add a little dimension to match. Like that. Okay. And now we have, oh, did I get enough glue on there? Right there. But I think I'm gonna pop the whole thing up on foam squares, so let's do it. <laughs> this is taking, it always takes me longer than I think a card is gonna take, but you know what, that is, my friends, Part of the fun. I kind of like the bowls popped up more like that. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to take a little bit of, oh, well, there we have some right there. You guys are there. It's a lot. It's a lot went into this little friend. Okay, so you're going to be here and you're going to be here. And how cute is that little card? You're the very best. So sweet. All right, let's uh, let's line this thing up first. Okay, put a little daub so that it can slide around. We're gonna come right here, flip it right right way to the edge of the cardstock, and that is gonna help me. 
kind of figure out the placement. Have that be about the same from side to side. Okay, right there. That'll look good. Nice and straight. And then take the foam squares off of here. And I'm also going to, again, a little liquid glue here to hold that in place. Dot and dot. And we will just put this right here, like that, right in the center of the card. I think that's really cute. I love it. Look how sweet that is. And then when you open the card, I am going to say, let's, well, here, let me just let this sit here real quick. You guys are going to go right inside so that we don't waste these berries and they will be right in the inside of the card like that. All right. And that is card number one. Let me show you how I'm going to finish out the next card. For the second card, I took some cardstock. This is the Sweet Pea Color from Concord 9th, which I thought would be really nice with the tones of the berries. And I cut it with this sweet plaid texture. This is a really good all-purpose sort of background texture. And what I'm going to do is add a little of my watermelon ink. And so I thought I would just come in from the sides and we'll see. I don't want it to come in too hot, but I'm, I'm just gonna build some color around the edges, pulling it off the mat and into the corner. Now I am going to trim this down a little bit, but I thought this would just give it a little something something. And I don't, I don't do this enough. Like I don't add color to cardstock a lot and I should do more of it because it's, it's nice, you know, it's like a really easy way to just bump up the look of any project. So we're just going to go around like that. And that's basically it. And I will cut this a bit. So I want to make sure I come in enough from those edges and then I can just pull this up off the side here like that. Just kind of leaving the inside untouched so it looks a little glowy. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, let me grab my die so we can cut this out. Let's come in a little more right there. For this panel, I'm going to use a die that's just a little bit higher up. This is the three and three quarter by five. And you can kind of see I'm cropping out some of the darker. I may have to add more ink. I may not. I just did it to add a little extra. So let me cut this out. I'm just going to come in, kind of bounce it out a little with whatever's on my brush. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Just a little more on one side than the other. Like that. All right. I think that looks good. Now I will show you, I have my plate. Oh, did I get that lined up? I think I'm a little off, but that's okay. I'm gonna put it on that side. And I am going to add some foam squares. I don't want it to be super popped up, but I'm gonna do thin foam squares on the back. Then we'll arrange our strawberries. But I guess what I should probably do is grab a note card, so hold tight. I'm gonna do the same thing where I just tape my panel directly to my note card without any extra dimension. So now I've got this lovely kind of glowy color and what's gonna happen is we're gonna do this, we're gonna have that right there and then all I have to do is figure out uh, my berries. And here's the thing, this is so simple. I just think this little plate is so cute. It's very cute. All right, let's do it. Let's get it on. Come on now. And let me get some liquid glue just so I have that little bit of float time. One on each. And then we're just going to put it, well, I guess I'll come at it this way, right in the center, side to side. I think that looks good. Right there. Yep. All right. Press. And then I have the same thin foam squares on my sentiment strip just for that float time. And I'll bring in my T-square, 
press it up against here because I think I want this to be a little closer like yeah like that right there I can't it's so hard to do this when I'm not looking straight down but I think oh come down that's straight yeah oh I keep sliding out of the picture too <laughs> okay and now I have that and then all I have to do is figure out where do my strawberries go? I don't know, you know, I, I like the idea that I'm gonna use all five on my plate, even though I'm not a great arranger, right? It's not really uh, my strongest suit, but maybe, maybe these guys need to be more at the top. Okay, let's see. Let's see, what if I put a thin foam square on him? Hold on. You know, this is, uh, I don't always do two cards in a session, but I think, oh yeah, having a little, having a little dimension is gonna be fun. So I'm gonna roll the dice here, commit this one for sure, right? So he can be, in fact, no, I'm gonna, well, do I wanna keep him? What if I did have just one of them out a little bit? Um, let's pick you up like that. One of these just goes right on the plate like this, okay? There's one there. We'll just hold that with a little glue. I'm gonna say you are also going to slide in here. Maybe even just like in like that. Okay, so we have a little fruit there. Hold you down. And then I'm gonna put these guys popped up. All right, I think this will be cute. <laughs> so fun. Okay, one there. And one there, so we're gonna have, I just wanna see what that's gonna look like. Oh, I think that's very sweet. Get it, sweetest friend? Okay, I'm telling you, I'm very proud of my little strawberries. I think they're very cute. And we're gonna pop you guys right here. Oh, so cute. And that is my second card. Isn't that fun? those cutest little berries, this cute panel. Let me grab the other card and we'll wrap it up. So these are my two card projects today that started out with the double stenciling of the berries and these sweet plates. I love this simple pattern paper background. They're very simple, right? This would be a great card for a beginner card maker, especially with pattern paper, easy to follow stenciling that you used, I don't know, what did I use, three colors? four colors total of ink, but I love how these turned out. And again, simple cards can be just as appreciated as the most fancy ornate things under the sun. And I love how these turned out. Thanks so much for watching today. You can find links to all of the products I use today in my YouTube description box and over on my blog. I'll have links to both, so check those out if you're interested in the supplies. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please become one today and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. To see more card projects featuring products from Waffle Flower Crafts, check out the two thumbnails I have linked for you below and I'll see you in those videos.